Hello everyone, hello my friend. Today we want talking about something everybody like. We want talking about the hamster. All the children asking about the hamster, all the family looking for the hamster. Always the people like this is an animal, which one you like it because it's cute and small, friendly, you can handle it, you can control and you can always keep it with you where you go. We were talking about what you need to have hamster, about the care, about the breeding, about the feeding. Many of my friends and family, they ask me, Hamid, what best of hamster we can keep it in our house? What the species of the hamster we can keep it in the house? The hamster, one of the big family, it's around 18 different species of the hamster. There is Syrian, there is uh, Russian, there is uh, big me, there is golden, there is dwarf. They are big family. Uh, today we will talking about what I have it right now. I have the Syrian hamster. The Syrian hamster, they found it in the desert of Syria, of uh, Arab country, okay? And they are breeded, they are called it before, it's golden hamster. When they are start to breed, this is hamster, uh, they got some different mutation, different color. And we have also long hair of hamster, which one I have now, it's long hair, and short hair, which one they call it uh, short coat. Uh, some people, they are always looking for the small size of the hamster, which one they control it easy, and they are thinking it's more friendly uh, with the children. Uh, I can say the Syrian hamster, it's more friendly than Russian hamster. The Russian hamster, always a little bit aggressive and uh, dangerous for the child because sometimes they are bite them if they don't know how to grab or how to ca carry the hamster. Most of the children always they catch the hamster in this is way, this is wrong. This is the easy way the hamster to can bite. Sometimes I ask the parents when they need to take care of the hamster or they carry the hamster, they can catch it from the skin. It's easy to control it. It's not difficult. It's not uh, uh, painful for the animal. It's a friendly way to catch the hamster because he's have uh, like rubber uh, skin. It's easy to hold like that. And you can keep it in your hand in this way and you start touch it slowly, slowly. It's good way. This is what I have, the Syrian hamster. We have, like what I said, there is long coat and short coat. This is the Syrian hamster. I will show you about the Russian hamster. Now I will show you what the difference between the Russian hamster and the Syrian hamster. Like what you can see, this is what in my hand, left hand, this is, they call it Russian hamster, which you can see the difference, the size. You see the size, this is, oh, very different, totally. Most of the family like the Russian hamster because the small size and they are thinking it's good for the children. The Russian hamster, sometimes if you are uh, try to play with him, he's a little bit aggressive, can bite you. It's a uh, little bit aggressive than Syrian hamster. The Syrian hamster, okay, he's more bigger size. I would put it back here. And the... Russian hamster, you can see the size small. And there is also more smaller than that. That's what they call it big me or dwarf Chinese hamster. It's half of this is size. Uh, also, you can carry the uh, Russian hamster like that. Okay, like what I said for the Syrian hamster. You can always play with him. He's like this is way. He's making him relax and you can carry him in this way. If the children try to grab him, sometimes his bite, and his bite very dangerous, it's making bleeding, it's better always the children play with him inside the cage, or the parents there carry the hamster, put it in the hand, and play with it. Now we will talking about the feeding of the hamster. And for the hamster, all family of the uh, hamsters, they are always eat different type of the food. For me, always I try to choose 
two type of the food or three type of the food which one easy and you can uh, get it in the supermarket plus you need to give the fresh food what you have it in the house we have here two type of the uh, dry food I have the mixed one I have the plain one the mixed one you can see there is the sunflower seed you can see the corn you can see the pressing uh, hay and you can see the dry carrot dry uh, lettuce many different type of the uh, vegetable and seeds okay and i have here which one the plain one the capsule which ones uh, made it from the corn they made it from different type of seed and plus we need to have some hay the hay it's very healthy and good for the hamster plus you need to give them weekly one time or two time you can give it some broccoli some uh, carrots some uh, different type of the beans which one fresh we try to be far away than fresh leaves sometimes the fresh leaves if you give it for the hamster and the hamster not used to eat this fresh leaf always they can easy to get some diarrhea and lose motion and this is a type of the uh seeds and dry seeds you can give it for all type of the hamster russian hamster syrian hamster you can give it plus you need always to remember that you need to give them sand bath how to give the sand bath easy you can bring some pole or some blade but some special there is some special sand the hamster can go take the bath it's good for the skin of the uh, hamster and the hair now we will talking also about the breeding and many friends and uh, people call me said Hamid how we can keep the hamster it's better to keep the hamster as a couple or we can keep it single I can tell them you can keep it single as alone and you can keep them uh, as a couple for some information this is uh, hamster in the wildlife they not live as a couple they are living separate they are meeting when they are need to breed but when they uh, they coming in the captivity they are keep it as a couple they have time for breeding and they are breed normally if you keep the hamster alone uh, i think uh, uh, it's easy to control it but when the hamster have female with him he's be more aggressive uh, it's better always we can keep the hamster as single if you want to breed them you can that's time you keep it as a couple but for also for you information it's important for uh, the who's need to keep the hamster uh, should be always the female when pregnant separated than male because sometimes the female got scared she's killing the baby she's eating the baby and sometimes the people try to catch the baby they play with the baby this is big problem no need to touch the baby because the smell of the baby it will be different than the mothers uh, and the, uh, the environment of the cage the smell coming different it's easy uh, she will kill the baby and we can see in the breeding time you can keep them together the male and female when she's pregnant you can make it separate uh, the normally the female always uh, have uh, pregnancy for 18 days only she's can lie uh, between uh, two baby until 12 which one happened with me i can uh, remember i have one hamster she's delivery and giving birth for 12 babies we will talking about the guinea pig and some friends and they call me Hamid what about the guinea pig the guinea pig is hamster or different species for me I can see them they are look like familiar together uh, I can see the hamster and the guinea pig I think it's one of the family but the difference between the guinea pig the hamster the guinea pig more bigger size and there is also bigger than this is what i have it there is the uh, ecuador 
which one uh, bigger size, which people they eat it in uh, South America, they are make it as a meal. And it's uh, can easily see it in some restaurant, they are eat this is animal. But for us here, we not uh, eat it for sure. We need to talking about it as a pet. Uh, for the guinea pig, I'm sure more friendly, more colorful, because you can see the guinea pig have different color. It's like, you know, troy color, mixed color. And we can see the guinea pig sometimes uh, have long coat, curly coat. Sometimes we can see the guinea pig uh, like Sphinx cat. Now I can see in some uh, uh, country they have a Sphinx guinea pig, which one no hair, hairless. It's always naked. And I can see it's uh, good to keep the guinea pig as a pet in the house because less uh, uh, missing, they not make miss and they are easy to control them. The feeding, same the feed of the hamster, but the difference between the hamster and the guinea pig, the time for pregnancy, it's for hamster, it's take 18 days, and the guinea pig take three months. And they lie, <coughs> they, uh, sorry, they give the birth as a goat. The baby coming from the stomach of the mom can eat, and can drink milk same times and fully hair. The hamster coming hairless without hair, but the guinea pig coming like goat or sheep, the eyes open, the body full of the hair, he can move, can eat uh, some grass, can eat uh, some uh, seed, plus can drink the milk. Uh, this is what we can talking about the hamster. And we can talk about something, how to easy to can find this is animal. And finally, we want talking about uh, how I can get healthy uh, hamster or mammals, which mammals you like. Uh, it's like mice, rat, uh, gerbil, hamster, guinea pig, whatever. From where I can get it? You can get it from pet store, which pet store you trust and you can understand his have healthy animal and you can always check the fur of the animal it's not have some scratch not have some insect uh, this is a place you can get the ham uh, your uh, animal the hamster guinea pig whatever or which there is some online they sell it from the farm or some breeder you can check they are good breeder they have healthy animal and they are have uh, good uh, animal care you can buy from them I hope everybody got all the information they needed about the hamster and the guinea pig and see you again with video about a new animal.